What's up guys, Malls here of 9to5Mac, and if you're a fan of good ideas, be sure to subscribe to the channel for future content like this. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of my favorite macOS Ventura features. This version of macOS is still in beta, but the full release should be coming in the fall. So let's dive in, but not before a word from our sponsor. 9 to 5 Mac on YouTube is sponsored by MacPaw's Clean My Mac X. Clean My Mac is your ideal decluttering app for Mac that keeps your computer free of junk and other unwanted files. Clean My Mac X comes from the folks over at MacPaw, who are diligent developers we all trust, and they've made sure that Clean My Mac is not only one of the safest Mac cleaning apps out there, but one of the smartest and most well designed. With just a few clicks, you're very easily able to tune up your Mac to its maximum speed. You can get rid of those large hidden files that you can't easily locate in the finder. Clean My Mac X also fights off and protects your computer from Mac specific malware. And those are just a few features. For the next two weeks, viewers can get a 5% discount on Clean My Mac X. So be sure to check the link in the description and take advantage of that offer. And a big thanks to MacPaw for sponsoring 9to5Mac on YouTube. Starting in no particular order, one of my favorite new features is the updates made to Spotlight. Now in the past, Spotlight hasn't really been a feature that I've used all that often on macOS, but the new features added here are honestly quite useful. Firstly, you can now use Quick Look to preview files within Spotlight. So just as you can press spacebar to preview a file in the Finder, you can do it within Spotlight as well. You're also getting more rich and comprehensive results for images, being able to find stuff on the web and in different applications. So when typing in a keyword, you'll not only get images web search results, but you'll also get images related to the keyword from other applications on your Mac, including the Photos app and anything else you can find. So when I type in horse, I'll get in pictures and videos of detected horses within the Photos app or other applications, as well as detected text within a photo, because one of the results here is a picture of a book with the word horsepower in it on one of the pages. So that's live text working its magic there. You've also got quick actions within Spotlight now. So if I type in timer, I'll get an option to start a timer right from the clock application, or if I type in do not disturb, I'll get an option to enable my do not disturb focus mode. I feel like these kind of features are what will actually make me more likely to use Spotlight going forward, so I'm glad they've been included. Now the application that I and pretty much everyone else always wanted to come to Mac was a proper Apple made weather application, and the fact that we haven't gotten it till 2022 is honestly crazy, but hey, at least they did it at all. The weather app in Mac OS is more or less the same experience that you're going to get on an iPhone or iPad running the latest version of iOS or iPadOS. OS. You've got your weather background animations that look quite nice on my 120 hertz MacBook Pro display, and you can go through the different days within the 10 day forecast and get an individual look at the weather for that day. You can also click on any of these side modules and get more specific info on things like the wind direction, air quality, visibility, and everything else you want to see. Probably my favorite Apple software feature of 2022 has been visual lookup. We've got it in the iPad OS and iOS 16 betas, and it's been added to the Ventura beta as well. This feature works with the Photos app, Screenshots, Quick Look, and Safari. And using it is as simple as right-clicking on an identifiable subject in an image, and then you'll see an option to copy that subject, which will basically remove the subject from the background and make its own image. And you can paste these subjects in pretty much any message field, and I think there could be some options added to macOS for pasting these subjects in areas outside of a message field, like being able to just straight up paste it onto the desktop or in the Finder somewhere. But other than that, I think this feature works very well, and and like I said, this is definitely one of my favorite Ventura features. Another It's About Time application that's finally been added to Mac is the Clock app. Just like the Weather app, all of your alarms and clock preferences are now going to be synced between your iPhone, iPad, and Mac. You've got a desktop-oriented view of the world clock in the first tab where you can take a look at the local times for everywhere around the world, and of course you can take a look and set alarms and utilize the stopwatch and timer. And with this, you're getting Siri integration for clock features as well, so you can ask Siri to set alarms, timers, and ask for the time in different locations. Stage Manager is a feature that I already did a dedicated video on, but in case you haven't seen that, just know that this is Apple's first major attempt at real window organization. Stage Manager is activated in the control center or in the menu bar if you've got that enabled, and it will bring one or more apps of your choice to the center of the screen while all the other open windows are slotted to the side in an organized manner. You can then click on any of these windows to the side and they'll be neatly swapped out with whatever application was front and center before. You can group apps together in Stage Manager based on your preferences, and you're also able to see live updates to these apps on the side. 
Definitely check out my full demo of Stage Manager if you haven't already, but this is a great feature for people who consistently have a lot of windows open and need an easy way to manage and organize them. Continuity Camera is another new macOS feature that I've already done a full video on as well, so be sure to check that out if you haven't already, but this is definitely a feature that I think is going to be a game changer for video calling in general. The built-in webcams on modern Macs are usable, they're okay, but still not really great compared to a smartphone or a DSLR, and that's where Continuity Camera comes in. If you've got an iPhone running the iOS 16 beta, you can open any application that utilizes the webcam like Photo Booth or FaceTime, and you'll see an option to use your iPhone as a camera. This is done completely wirelessly, and as you can see, the video quality coming out of the iPhone is substantially better than what you've got with a built-in MacBook or iMac webcam. You can't really use your iPhone while this feature is in use for obvious reasons, uh, but it's still such a great feature for how easy and convenient it is to do. Check out the full video on it on the channel. The last new thing in Venture I want to highlight is a handful of features between iMessage and FaceTime. Firstly, with iMessage, you can now edit messages up to 15 minutes after sending, undo messages up to 15 minutes after sending, and mark messages as unread. And a lot of lives are gonna be saved due to those features alone. But you've also got some cool new FaceTime features, including the ability to hand off FaceTime calls, meaning you can start a FaceTime call on your iPhone and then switch to your Mac seamlessly. There's also now live captions coming to FaceTime as well. And these are features all coming to iOS and iPadOS 16, obviously. So we've gotta get it for Mac too, and I'm glad we are. So those are just a few of my personal favorite features coming to macOS Ventura. And we'll be sure to have some more coverage for Ventura coming soon, including including a full deep dive going over everything that's new to improve. So if you're looking forward to that, be sure to subscribe to the channel for future content like this, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. 9to5Mac on YouTube is sponsored by MacPaws Clean My Mac X. Clean My Mac is your ideal decluttering app for Mac that keeps your computer free of junk and other unwanted files. Clean My Mac X comes from the folks over at MacPaw, who are diligent developers we all trust. And they've made sure that Clean My Mac is not only one of the safest Mac cleaning apps out there, but one of the smartest and most well designed. With just a few clicks, you're very easily able to tune up your Mac to its maximum speed. You can get rid of those large hidden files that you can't easily locate in the finder. Clean My Mac X also fights off and protects your computer from Mac specific malware. And those are just a few features. For the next two weeks, viewers can get a 5% discount on Clean My Mac X. So be sure to check the link in the description and take advantage of that offer. And a big thanks to MacPaw for sponsoring 9to5Mac on YouTube.